Many people wonder about the differences between a heat pump, a gas water heater, or an electric one. We'll look at this in detail together to help you make the right choice of equipment to warm up your pool water starting this spring all the way through fall. Let's start with the traditional heat pump, which is also the least expensive option. The heat pump works with a heat exchange between the ambient air and the pool water. So the colder it is outside, like at night, or at the beginning and end of the season, the more energy it requires and the more demanding it is for the heat pump to get the extra degrees. We're not talking about a whole week to get a desired temperature, don't worry, but especially at the start of the season, it can still take a few days. On the other hand, once we have reached the desired temperature, we manage to maintain it very easily throughout the season. Obviously, the advice here is to choose the right heat pump to have the number of BTU or the necessary strength for it to properly work in your environment. Now, as for the electric water heater, it works very much like your water heater at home and has no connection with the weather outside. It could even be installed inside the house since it's very quiet. It works with a heating element, so the water heats up simply by passing through it. It's ideal for occasional swimmers. For example, if your swimming pool is at the cottage, you don't use it during the week, you want it to heat quickly when the weekend arrives, then this could be a very good option for you. The third option is the gas water heater, which works with either propane or natural gas. It's even more efficient than the electric water heater, so it will heat your water faster. It's ideal for occasional visitors and is very quiet. No matter which water heater or heat pump you choose, know that you'll always need a certified professional to make the electrical or gas connection. 